when people get to hospital having COVID-19, it means they're already experiencing a serious disease. There's a long history of bacterial superinfection or secondary infection with other respiratory viral epidemics. So if you already add to a pretty serious picture, you know, something that is like an additional infection, obviously that cannot just then complicate the, the situation. What we really mean is a person has a, a, a viral infection and then they get an additional bacterial infection in their lungs on top of uh, the, the, the initial uh, COVID-19 infection. And it seems like the bacterial secondary infections are more often related to uh, hospitalization, uh, intubation, be patients being on a ventilator or on a breathing machine. And that prolonged ventilation is associated with increased risk for bacterial infection. So you have this dilemma, do I treat with the risk of either not giving the anti right antimicrobial or giving it unnecessarily, or do I wait? I don't think they can wait. So honestly, I think from a clinical and ethical point of view, they're doing what they can, but there is then the, the, the consequence of uh, maybe fueling even further resistance. So it's not surprising that there is a potential concern for patients with COVID-19 uh, developing infections due to resistant organisms. It is really important to, to do the blood culture test at the same time as you initially start treating the patient to start to have those answers as soon as possible and then proceed further in case of uh, bacterial identification towards a full identification. So basically give a name to the bacteria and then try to understand what is the best antibiotic that can be used to treat that specific bacteria instead of shooting in the dark. One of the things that attracted me about BD is is the, the social responsibility uh, element that's part of the culture of the company. And and that, I think that makes BD different than a lot of other companies. And so it's not a surprise to me to see how BD has stepped up and, and is working hard to support uh, uh, the response to this pandemic.